Hey folks, Chris Thoreau here from Seedleaf, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use seed mixes in your production system and Seedleaf. Now to be clear, a seed mix is when you take two different seeds and sow them together in a tray. So you've got a crop with two different, a uh, tray with two different crops in it. This is distinct from a product blend where you're taking two different crops and mixing those together at packaging time. Okay, now let's go into our seeds and we're going to add a new seed. We're going to work with basil, so we're going to call this one basil. And you can see we've got some in here, so this is going to be our first mix here, lemon and thai. And I'm going to create another one, which I'm going to call thai and genovese. And so you can see under basil, we now have these two mixes. If you want to call that a mix, you can, but it's pretty simple to just keep it as basil. We have a seed, now we need to create a crop with that seed. We're going to go in, we're going to add a crop. We're going to call this one, actually I'm going to pick my seed first, I know this is a little, and I'm going to call this, uh, same thing actually, basil, lemon and thai. About eight grams, we don't soak that. Five days to germination, 20 or so days to maturity, and we're gonna say 170 gram yield, which I think is a little generous for basil. And we're gonna add another one. Ooh, again, selecting my seed first, and then I'm giving this the same name. Okay, same stuff here. And your, your, the, the mix of crops might actually vary a little bit in what you put for seeding rate and days to germination. That is for you to determine based on your experience. And there we go. Now we have two crops, our lemon and thai, and our thai and genovese. So we've got seeds, crops, and now we can create products from those. So I'm going to call this basil mix. Oops, and same thing. So there seems like a little bit of repetition here, and in a way it is, but that's making sure we've got good strong associations between our products, crops, and our seeds. And you only need to do this once. You're not doing this all the time. So we're gonna create here, we're gonna do a cut one, small size, 50 grams at $8. And we're gonna do a large size on this one as well. We'll call that one 150 grams at $20. And we can do a tray size of this one because it is a mixed tray, which will sell at $20. And there we go. Now we have a product of our basil mix, Thai and Genovese. Now we're going to do another one. I'm going to do a basil mix with our lemon and Thai believe is the way we named it. Right there, so you can see those match. And same thing, I'll do a small 50 grams for $8. Can add a size here, cut, large, 150 grams for $20. And same thing, we'll do the tray in the exact same way. So really trying to be consistent across product lines, which makes things easier for all sorts of reasons. So now we've got our lemon and thai, and we've got our thai and genovese. And I see I didn't name that the same. I'm going to do it like this. Simple edit like that. And there we go. Okay, so remember, capitals. All right. And we can also make a product mix. So we're going to call this basil, we're going to call it Thai and lemon basil with arugula mix. Little much. Oops, but we're going to do our Thai and lemon, which is going to be 50%. And our arugula is going to be 50%. And we'll just do one cut one here. Same thing, and there we go. So now we've done our seed mixes, 
and made both regular products and blended products with that mix. So hopefully that makes sense on how you use seed mixes and a little bit about how you make a blended product in Seed Leaf.